Deep Water, the psychological thriller starring Ben Affleck and Ana de Armas, concludes with a new twist for Vic and Melinda's lethal mind games. Deep Water is a twisted narrative of Vic and Melinda Van Allen's seemingly loveless marriage, directed by Adrian Lyne, who is known for his previous sensual thrillers and dramas including 1987's Fatal Attraction and 1993's Indecent Proposal. Hulu's Deep Water, based on Patricia Highsmith's 1957 novel of the same name, creates a fresh finale to the narrative that adds more complicated complexities to the protagonist's high-stakes romance. Deep Water follows Vic and his deceitful wife as they raise their six-year-old daughter in a tight-knit town where rumor travels like wildfire. Because Vic lacks the passion that Melinda desires, the pair has reached an arrangement in which Ana de Armas' character is permitted to have partners as long as she does not disrupt their family. Deep Water sees the couple's well-publicized relationship take a twisted turn as Vic starts to crack within severe implications for those caught in the thick of their expanding mind games. Several persons related to Vic and Melinda's love entanglements had perished by the end of Disney's 2022 film Deep Water, which was bought as part of its 20th Century Fox merger, with the last act establishing the twisted relationship between the primary pair. Despite all of the murder, fury, and unethical arguments, Melinda and Vic's marriage emerges from Deep Water stronger than ever, a stark contrast to their friend's seemingly stereotypical suburban romances. Vic and Melinda appear to be a polite, even-tempered, even slightly pitiful gentleman and a center of attention, sexually confident woman on the surface, but underneath the surface, as shown by Deep Water's twist-filled finale, reveal an entirely different narrative. The end of what happens in Deep Water. Vic and Melinda are finally more passionate in their marriage towards the end of Deep Water, despite the fact that he has murdered two of her boyfriends in cold blood. Despite the fact that Melinda is convinced that Vic killed her boyfriend Charlie, she grows fond of him and doesn't instantly accuse him of complicity when she doesn't hear from her new paramour. Tony. Vic returns to the river to better bury Tony's body after a delightful lunch with Melinda and Trixie, only for Melinda to discover Tony's wallet inside a box of Vic's snails. Don meets Vic at the gorge after Melinda contacts Don, a new neighbor who accuses Ben Affleck's character of killing Charlie. Don drives his car to the police station after watching Vic move Tony's body, and Vic jumps on his bike to intercept Don. Tracy lets character swerves off the road and falls to his death as he drives down a cliff as Vic rides his bike directly in front of Don's automobile. Trixie, Melinda's daughter, notices that Melinda has packed a bag and tosses it into the pool, telling blonde actor Anna de Armas' character that they would not be going. Vic arrives home to see Melinda sitting on the stairwell with a little smile on her face, only for deep water to cut to her character burning all of Tony's licenses that she discovered with Vic's snails. By the end of deep water, the Van Allen's marriage is in good shape, if not better than it was before. Why did Vic lie to Joel about Martin McCree's murder? Vic meets Melinda's lover, Joel, at a party, which sets the tone for the rest of the film. Vic informs him that he killed Martin McCree, Melinda's last boyfriend who vanished, to frighten Joel away. Vic's comment is usually taken as a joke by the characters in Deep Water, but it effectively scares Joel away and makes screenwriter Don suspicious. Vic assures Melinda that it was a harmless joke when she becomes enraged. But Deep Water suggests that Malice hides underneath actor Ben Affleck's supposedly apathetic manner. Later in Deep Water, it's revealed that Vic didn't actually kill McCree, as he claimed Joel he did with a hammer when he was slain with a pistol, and the true killer was captured. While Vic and his pals said that his story about killing Martin McCree was a joke, it was actually the start of Vic's rage and envy spilling out. Vic would go on to kill two of Melinda's lovers, thus lying about it looked like a mistake, since he would be the first suspect when Deep Water's Charlie and Tony were either dead or missing. Vic was tired with his apathy to Melinda's relationships in reality, but the excitement of finally confronting one of Melinda's lovers rekindled a passion in his marriage that he hadn't felt in a long time. Ben Affleck's character in the 2022 film figured he could get away with it since no one in Deep Water thought he was capable of such a thing given how amazed they were when they discovered he could dance. How did Trixie find out that Vic was the one who killed Charlie? Trixie Van Allen, Vic and Melinda's six-year-old daughter, is one of Deep Water's most intriguing characters. She's shown to be far more educated and mature than her age suggests, with a scene in Deep Water with Trixie and Vic discussing Charlie's death implying that she knows far more about her parents' marriage than they'll admit. After Charlie is found dead and Vic is named the prime suspect, Trixie informs her father that she believes he was the one who killed Anna de Armas' movie character's lover. Vic claims he didn't kill Charlie, but Trixie insists she believes he did. She's just frustrated that he won't tell her how he did it. Trixie tosses Melinda's packed luggage into the water at the conclusion of Deep Water and declares they're not leaving, implying that she understands all that's going on but still wants her family to stay together. Because Trixie and Vic are considerably closer than Trixie and Melinda, it appears that Deep Water's young character, who is just as fed up with Melinda's affairs as Ben Affleck's character, supports what Vic does. Melinda's role in covering up Tony's murder. Despite the fact that Melinda had informed Don that Vic was involved in Tony's abduction, 
Deep water ends with her burning Vic's licenses just seconds afterwards, after throwing Melinda's bag into the water and telling her they're not leaving. Ana de Armas' character realizes that keeping her family together is more essential. Vic had spent most of deep water denying that he had any passion for her or that he really loved her. But it isn't until he starts killing or threatening her boyfriends that the flame in their marriage returns. Melinda tells Vic she loves him again and over. But his lack of enthusiasm and inability to genuinely return her feelings leads her astray. That is, until she understands that killing and threatening these guys is his warped method of demonstrating how much he actually loves her. In their marriage, James Bond's Ana de Armas had been absolutely bored. But Vic's erratic conduct indicated that, as she had previously stated of herself to him, he was no longer boring to her. Melinda had just just asked Vic why he was the only one who stayed with her, implying that despite his love for murder, he'd do anything to be with her. So she returned the gesture by assisting in the cover-up of Tony's killing. After deep water, what's next for Melinda and Vic? Melinda and Vic's poisonous marriage resulted in the deaths of at least three individuals in their community. Yet their bond was stronger than ever by the end of deep water. Nobody but Vic, Melinda, and Trixie could give evidence that Benefolk's character murdered anybody since Don wasn't able to send his text to Kelly about being correct about Vic before he died. Because Melinda chose to keep their family together rather than flee and reveal Vic's misdeeds, the couple will be able to reclaim their suburban facade. It's uncertain if their marriage will see additional lovers or murders beyond deep water. But the fact that these ordeals have revived Melinda and Vic's desire suggests they'll keep playing sick mind games as long as it keeps their family together. What the end of deep water really means. The roller coaster plot of deep water is about suburban couples who become bored in their relationships and the extremes to which they would go to stay together and preserve their picture perfect farce. Of course, Disney's 2022 is an extreme example of this phenomena, but it is based on numerous real life marriage difficulties involving adultery the desire to keep a family together, and a loss of passion over time. Vic's mild-mannered, apathetic attitude is essentially a mask he puts on while. In truth, he's a ticking time bomb of wrath and violence, as the plot of Deep Water mostly illustrates. Deep Water is, in the end, a twisted story about a toxic marriage in which the core couple finally shows their love, renews their passion, and comes to a climactic, unifying agreement in which the core couple is complicit in each other's immorality. Vic by Melinda's infidelity, and Melinda by Vic's homicides. While the bulk of filmmaker Adrian Lyne's sexual thrillers from the 1990s, such as Jacob's Ladder, conclude with the craziness stopping after the couple is brought closer together or their disputes are resolved. Deep Water's denouement offers a different perspective. Instead, the ending of Deep Water hints that Vic and Melinda's back and forth anguish will continue, and that their cooperation in one another's immorality has made them a stronger pair. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.